So one of the big problems with using real drummers is that they often can't play in time very well. And yet at the same time, one of the big problems with using program drums or drum machines is that by default, most people have them playing at exactly the same speed throughout a whole song with exactly the same BPM. Whereas a good real drummer will often push and pull the time slightly on different sections to give it um, extra feel and groove and rhythm and just general rockiness. So for example, they might push the time slightly um, after an intro going into a verse and then pull it back slightly, pay a bit softer before coming back at the chorus faster and on full volume and then maybe just push the speed a bit more if the chorus is repeated again at the end just to give it extra energy. So what you can do though in Reaper is you can use tempo mapping to either correct um, inconsistent real drummer tracks or to try and make program drums sound more realistic. So if you want to have a go at doing this, what you need to do is you need to go to view. You need to make sure you've got master track on. So that's on already on here. And then just go to trim on here and you'll see I've already got um, tempo map ticked here crossed and I've got the volume done as well. So you can see that this line here is a volume and um, I'm just using this at the moment to fade it in and fade it out. And then on the tempo map here, and um, what you do is you, can, you just need to right click on it. If I do it on the volume, you just right click and you can create a new point. You can set the shape there as well, but you don't need to worry about too much of the tempo mapping because it's quite subtle and you won't really notice any difference. But you just create new points and then you move it up and down to, with another new point to um, speed it up or slow it down. So if I just show you what I've done, this is just a, from a demo track I did to actually to show off different overdrives. It's just a short track. But on this, I started off at 130 BPM. So you can see that's set there. And then um, after the intro, the drums come in and start playing a bit more. And I pushed it up to 131. So it's speeding up there to 131. Um, then goes up to 133. And the next bit when, um, when um, like proper verse bit comes in. And then it slows down again a bit on a slightly quieter pitch to build the dynamics up at 130. At the beginning of like a, a, a quieter guitar bit, where it's not much going on, it's 128. And then when the drums kick in properly, it goes up to 129 to start with, and then up to 132 before it, slip, before it fades out. So, yeah, what I, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to play a, a section of this to you and then what I'll, I'll have the BPM up on the screen so you can see it changing. So hopefully you've got something out of this. If you have, then I think it's only fair that you now have to listen to my guitar solo, even if I was just making it up as I was going along.